The first Insidious film introduces the Lambert family, husband and wife Josh and Renee, and their children Dalton, Foster, and Callie. Shortly after moving into their new home, Dalton enters the attic where he encounters a mysterious entity that eventually puts him into a coma. Three months later, as Dalton has yet to wake up, the family begin to experience a series of horrific events, including strange noises in the night, and even Renee being attacked by a paranormal apparition. Thinking their house is haunted, the Lamberts move away, though the paranormal activity follows them to their new home. Josh's mother Lorraine arrives, warning of visions of a red-faced demon, prompting her to call in the help of psychic Elise Rainier and her assistants Spex and Tucker. Elise explains that while he thought he was dreaming, Dalton had actually gained the ability to astral project his consciousness into a purgatory dimension known as the Further. Dalton's mind has been captured by evil spirits in the Further, who are seeking a way to use his body and re-enter the physical world. While Josh first dismisses these claims, he eventually discovers that he possessed the same abilities as Dalton, and had repressed memories of Elise helping him similarly escape the Further as a child. The group quickly determined that the only way to save Dalton is for Josh to actual project into the Further to rescue him. Inside the Further, Josh fights his way through various spirits, including the red-faced demon and the spirit of an old woman who had tried to possess him as a child eventually rescuing Dalton and returning to the physical world. As the family celebrate Dalton's rescue, Elise senses something amiss and discovers that the spirit of the old woman has possessed Josh's body. Upon being caught, Josh murders Elise before returning to his family. In Insidious Chapter 2, the Lamberts are under investigation for the murder of Elise. As the Lamberts move in with Lorraine, they once again begin to suffer from paranormal activity, while Josh is urged by a demonic voice to kill his family. Lorraine realizes that Josh is possessed, and instructs Renee to take the kids and run. Meanwhile, Spex and Tucker begin looking more into Josh's history, discovering in old videotapes from Elise's time with him as a child that the adult Josh can miraculously be seen in the footage. Working with Elise's former colleague Carl, the trio discover that Josh had been attacked by a serial killer named Parker Crane as a child, who wore a black gown and was dubbed the Bride in Black. And so, it is in fact Parker Crane who is the old woman possessing Josh. Carl, Spex, and Tucker confront the possessed Josh in an attempt to free him from Parker's control, leading to Josh attacking them and inadvertently sending Carl to the further. There, Carl reunites with Elise and the real Josh. In the real world, the possessed Josh begins attacking his family, prompting Dalton to enter the Further to help his father take back control of his body. Inside the Further, the group becomes unstuck in time, eventually discovering that Parker Crane was viciously abused by his mother Michelle, who forced him to act like a girl and led him toward his violent tendencies. During a final confrontation with Michelle, Elise kills the spirit, putting the bride in black spirit to rest. With the spirit defeated, Dalton is able to lead his father out of the further and fully reclaim his body. Carl uses his abilities to help the Lamberts once again suppress their horrific memories and happily move on with their lives. Insidious Chapter 3 is set three years before Dalton's possession and focuses on Elise's return to the profession of demonology. Grieving the death of her husband and traumatized by her years of experiences with spirits and the further, Elise has given up on her profession. When teenager Quinn Brenner seeks out Elise's help in communicating with her recently deceased mother, Elise refuses. Quinn then becomes the target of a spirit known as the Man Who Can't Breathe, leading her to be hit by a car and temporarily confined to a wheelchair. Quinn's father, Sean, seeks out the help of internet demonologists Spex and Tucker, but quickly realizes that they are frauds. Carl encourages Elise to offer her assistance in saving Quinn, and upon meeting Spex and Tucker, she invites them to join her in her mission. Elise enters the further and battles the man who can't breathe, but realizes that Quinn would need to defeat the spirit herself. Elise seeks out Quinn's mother Lily in the further to aid her daughter, leading her to successfully defeating the spirit. With Quinn saved, Elise bids farewell to the family and decides to officially return to demonology, with Spex and Tucker working as her new assistants. Elise Rainier's story continues in Insidious The Last Key. 
Elise Specks and Tucker are hired by a man named Ted Garza to investigate the paranormal anomalies at his house, which just so happens to be Elise's childhood home. The home brings back traumatic memories for Elise, whose father was abusive and mother was killed by a demon. Elise had fled the house as a child to escape her father's beatings, abandoning her brother Christian. Elise, Spex, and Tucker eventually discover that Ted is actually holding a young woman prisoner inside his home, and Spex is forced to kill him in self-defense. Christian then returns to his childhood home with his daughters Melissa and Imogen, though he remains bitter at Elise for abandoning him decades prior. Melissa is attacked by the demon from Elise's childhood home, known as Keyface, which traps her in the further. As Elise searches for a way to save Melissa, she discovers that her father Gerald had also kidnapped and locked up young women inside their home. Elise is then attacked by Keyface, pulling her into the further. Fortunately, Imogen possesses the ability to astral project, and enters the further to save Elise and Melissa. The women discover that Keyface had been possessing Gerald and Ted, forcing them to commit their heinous acts against women, feeding on the women's fear and hatred for their abusers. As Keyface tries to go to Elise into enacting revenge against her father in the further, Imogen encourages her to not let Keyface feed on her hatred. As Keyface attacks Elise, Gerald's spirit sacrifices itself to save her. As Keyface continues to attack the Rainier family, the spirit of Elise's mother Audrey arrives to help defeat the demon. While attempting to escape the further, the women accidentally open a wrong door, leading to the young Dalton Lambert. Searching for another exit, they accidentally leave the door open, inadvertently giving the spirits of the further access to Dalton and setting up the events from the first Insidious film. Upon leaving the further, Elise reunites with Christian, who finally forgives her for abandoning him. As the film comes to a close, Elise receives a phone call from Lorraine Lambert to help save the possessed Dalton, bringing the story full circle.